but also talking about how to live your dream in seven Ds. We'll be having that discussion shortly. But just before that, let's take a look at our, our not our scripture, but our quote for the day. This one is by Cicero, and it says, A room without books is like a body without a soul. I'll read that again. A room without books is like a body without a soul. And that was said by Cicero. All right. Well, time now to introduce my next guest. His name is Otieno Peter pa Paul Peter, and he's an inspirational public speaker, a leadership development coach, and an author. Karibu sana to the show. Thank you, Joyce. Great to have you here. All right. So we're going to be reviewing one of his books. It's actually called Live Your Dream in Seven Ds. But he's also come with another one of his books that he's going to be giving away. And that book is this one right here. It's called The Making of a Symphony Orchestra, Timeless Leadership. And um, uh, let me just read for you a bit of the back here. He says that leadership is at the heart of every meaningful success imaginable. And personal development is largely about leadership development and um, he of course is a passionate leadership trainer who believes in simplicity and practicality of ideas and strategies and so this book uh, is up for grabs stay tuned in a moment I'll be giving you information as far as how you can answer whatever question I pose for you today for you to be able to walk away with this copy triple one triple four triple one is the sms line but for now let's see the book that we'll actually be discussing today and it's this one here live your dream in seven d's it's called achieving the life you desire one step at a time and uh, karibu sana to the show once again and i want to focus on on that tagline there achieving the life you desire one step at a time it often feels that many times we don't do it a step at a time, or at least we don't have the patience to pursue it one step at a time. What's your reflection on that? If we want it, we should be able to do that, unless we don't want it. Okay. You see, if we, are, if we already have certain dream that we want to achieve, then we've got to take the steps that are necessary to achieve it. Okay. In order to do KCPE, you must start at some class, some class one or nursery, whatever, and you move in up to the time you are ready for it. Mm -hmm. So growth is never sporadic. Growth, even a tree doesn't just jump. It's always some gradual. So right. it's got to be a step at a time. Right. Yeah. But how did our culture get so fixated on having everything quickly and instantly? It's like we're all in this race, yeah. you know, to... to Kufika wakwanza to get there, you know, the fa the fastest or the earliest. Um, how does one, you know, live like that, like the way you're proposing, a step mm. at a time, mm. in the midst of the sort of societal pressure we face today? Thank you. You know, one one problem uh, that uh, most of us have is uh, lack of education, and we say uh, people perish due to lack of knowledge. You see, if you do not know about something, I love to say that ignorance is the greatest liability of mankind. Mm -hmm. All the pains that we go through is somewhat because we don't know something. Mm -hmm. Or all the costs that we pay, somewhat it's related to something mm -hmm. that we don't know, we are yet to learn. Mm -hmm. And so people who want to jump steps somewhat believe that there should be short, uh, shortcuts. But one thing we've re uh, I've, I've learned is no matter how when you try to dodge the, uh, the line, you're just delaying yourself. You've seen this in supermarkets. You go and you see like the other line is moving faster and you jump there, then it starts <laughs> dragging. It down, right? The same thing in the traffic. Uh, you jump from one lane to the other, but you realize that it doesn't uh, make you any faster. Mm -hmm. We've got to learn the steps. But what has brought this, again, besides lack of education, is uh, somewhat the wrong examples that we've seen with many leaders that we, we want to admire. Mm -hmm. And then they are always out there to talk to us yeah. and tell us uh, how fast it should be done. Yeah. I've learned that if you do it too fast, 
you will not appreciate the process. Okay. But the success is in the process. It's not in the destination. Right. If you don't appreciate the process, you lose it. I like that. Success is in the process, yeah. not in the destination. Not in the destination. And indeed, we need to kind of culture our minds towards that idea today. Yeah. Um, and so maybe you can just give us an outline of what we're going to be discussing when we get back from a break. Uh, can you very quickly, without just going, just maybe list them out for us, what the seven Ds we will be discussing are? Yeah, I, I would list them. One thing I've learned over time also is that uh, some, you know, sometimes if, you, if I just list them like that, people somewhat think they already got the book, Okay. which, which is absolutely wrong. Okay. Those are just taglines okay. that have been used. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let's not do that then. Yeah. Let's not do that. Yeah. Fair point. Um, and so with that said then, I want to ask you guys to let me know what you think uh, is a, maybe actually we can have them guess. Are they actually in Ds? Do they start with Ds? Yes. Okay. That would be interesting. I think I like that. <laughs> I'm going to ask you guys to guess for me. Okay. Um, what two of the Ds could possibly be in these seven Ds uh, to be able to live your dream. Does that sound fair? It's not very fair because they'll Google. <laughs> <laughs> and some okay. people have read it. Okay, so you guys need to do it now because I'm not going to wait for you guys to start, you know, when you've heard the discussion. Whoever SMS is in now, uh, maybe even after the break, we might be awarding this winner. I don't know. Hmm. We're going to see. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. You can also reach me on social media at Switch TV KE on Instagram and at Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. And we'll be back here with Otieno Paul Peter after the break. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. And uh, I'm here with my guest. His name is Otieno Paul Peter, and he's a speaker, a development, leadership development coach, and an author. He does have a book giveaway uh, happening right now on this book here titled The Making of a Symphony Orchestra timeless leadership and indeed people are out here guessing because i told you i'm going to be awarding some of the first winners here today uh, who can guess what the seven d's could possibly be here today we're going to be discussing seven d's live your your dream in seven d's and i've been asking you guys to guess on what those could possibly be so are you ready to hear what people have to say all right so wow there's quite a number here um let me see someone here says i just asked for two uh someone says determination demonstration mm -hmm. another says determination and decision that's purity from nairobi another says determination and discipline it's funny all of them start with determination i think when we think of d mm -hmm. <laughs> and leadership <laughs> that one has to come through mm -hmm. um another says determination destiny another says dream and distinguish uh, another says determination detail. Mm -hmm. uh, another says determination dreams. Another says determination, dedication, and diligence. Mm -hmm. Another says drive and direction. Wow. I don't know. Any mm. of those you want to award? No. No? Okay. No, none got at least two. Most no. of them. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Well, there could be somebody who got two. Uh, There's someone we'll who... See. Uh, There's someone who got two. Somebody, somebody said uh, discipline somewhere. Someone said, "I have. Do I well, have discipline? Look, look for some discipline. I think. I okay, have. I have discipline and determination. Yeah, yeah. That that, that sounds uh, close. That's close. Mm, but is yes. it that they're half correct? No, no, no. Uh, uh, at least the the uh, there is something else I say besides determination. But uh, okay. at least we can go with determination. Okay. And discipline. Okay. So that that, that sounds uh, uh, close. Okay. That, that's good. That's I think, good. I think if you have to give somebody, ah. that's probably the person. That's probably okay. So I have mm. two people who wrote discipline and determination, and uh, the law of life. At this point, we're saying not to rush towards success, but in this series it's going to matter and so i'm going to give it to the first person uh and that sms came in at 9 13 you said determination and discipline mm -hmm. so we can award them mm -hmm. your number starts with 0792 ends with 105 congratulations to you you win yourself a copy of this book now if 
you've not won, please do make sure you're still paying attention because he's going to be diving into now the seven Ds for us in this moment. Um, and so let's talk about this. Why live your dream in seven Ds? Uh, you see, Joyce, my life uh, uh, taught me a lot of other things. Uh, when I was growing up, I was not very advantaged, I would say. Mm -hmm. And uh, the difficulties I went through, somewhat at some point when I reflected back, I managed to summarize them in seven steps. Okay. And that's made me reach where I am. Uh, so to speak, in uh, just about 20 years ago, I was somebody you'd call a vagabond. I didn't have a place to live. Wow. I didn't have a home. People would ask me, where do you live? And I realized at that point that there are two elements to that question, mm -hmm. where you eat and where you sleep. Right. But then I realized I did not have any constant place. I would sleep where uh, evening finds me, wow. and I would eat wherever I get food. So I did not have an answer. Mm -hmm. But then uh, at some point I was uh, like, at that point I was out of school. I wasn't going to school. But all these transformations happened to mm. the extent that I no longer talk about where to live again or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's none of my biggest worries. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think uh, to, to, from the village to having a house in Nairobi to living the life, the life of my dream, uh, yeah. at least for the time being. I think there was something I could share. Mm. And uh, based on, uh, people started nudging me and pushing me. Why? Because I would talk to people, I would give talks, then they would ask, do you have some materials? You'd, you'd live with us? I said, no. No, 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 you've got to start writing something. Okay. And uh, I remember a friend called Julius. Julius told me, this year you must start writing. And I had to start and I comprised, I staged them into seven steps. Okay. Those seven steps, I call them seven Ds. All and right. so that summarizes uh, uh, under those subtitles, under those headings, I've been able to make that, uh, uh, that title for the book. All right. Live your dream in Fantastic. seven Ds. Fantastic. And congratulations to you for showing people that it in indeed it is possible to rise from what was your situation then and, mm. and to, you know, carve an entirely new mm. future. Um, and so let's get to the first one. What would be the first D then? Uh, the first D, D, which is very crucial, and it's the very first step, is to have a dream. So the first one is a dream. People who say dream, at least they got one. Most people don't have dreams. They don't even have what it takes. Uh, w w they don't even know what they are looking for in life. Mm -hmm. And so they live a pity party life. So in, in, under that subheading, I discuss lots of things, including creating something from nothing, including how to uh, 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 clarify your dream, how to get into... You see, somebody talked about... Uh, uh, I think when you are discussing with somebody, you are responding to some question and you are telling them to also taking, uh, take initiative and things like that. Mm -hmm. And people responded to something to do with... I, I must have inferred something to do with purpose also. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the chapter where I also relate with success or the dream with your purpose in life and how to identify it. Mm -hmm. So this element of dream is the starting point. Okay. We've got to know where we are going. If we do not know where we are going, we probably won't reach there because we won't even know the direction. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first uh, 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 chapter deals with this element of dream, this element of, uh, of uh, the pre pre predetermined goal that you want to achieve yeah. and how you can uh, get it clarified because one thing I've learned in life, if it is not clear in your mind, you're probably not going to get it. Okay. And uh, that's why I start it. I think at uh, uh, the first first uh, pages I start with, why do we get what we don't want? Okay. You'll notice that most times we get only what we don't want, hmm. but we don't get what we want. Wow. Yes. People will get married to where they don't want to be married, but the people they don't want. They get the results out of exams which they don't want. Mm. They live in places they don't want. Somewhat, it is what we don't want that, that we get. tends to conspire. Why is the that? same reason we get weeds, more weeds than the plants. We plant what we want, but then we get more weeds. The universe somewhat is organized like that. Okay. You see? And uh, how do we get rid of this? We've got to start weeding what we don't want. Okay. 
And that means we've got to be clear about this is what I want, this is what I don't want. Okay. So y y if we don't learn that willing element, then we stay with what we don't want. And mm -hmm. somewhat they keep coming. Mm -hmm. Very well said. Um, let's move on to determination. Mm. Um, and here you talk about many things, you know, solving problems, how your thoughts become things, guts and glory. Summarize determination for us. Uh, uh, the, this, this is the chapter where I start uh, doing what I love doing, keeping people, giving you what it takes to reach the predetermined goal, the predetermined dream. And so it has a lot to do with emotional intelligence. Okay. How do you regulate your emotions? How do you, because problems are bound to be there. There is no straight route to success. In fact, somebody said if there were shortcuts to success, uh, they would be the main routes. They wouldn't be called shortcuts. Mm. Yeah, we would be reinventing other shortcuts. Mm -hmm. So this is where we deal with uh, uh, what on your side how do you start transforming yourself? Because life happens like this. We've got to be before we get, mm -hmm. or before we do, and then get. So we, this is now where we are starting to transform ourselves to being the person who should be able to achieve the goal that you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. Yeah. All right, so so far we've covered dream and determination, yeah. and then of course there's discipline. And I, I, don't I, like, think I like the word we've discovered, we've, we've covered. At least we've mentioned <laughs> what, yeah, <laughs> what they are. Yes. Yeah. Um, we've, we've, we've. Uh, so now let's talk about discipline. And uh, I don't think there's anybody in life who's been successful in anything, mm -hmm. whether you're a musician, a fitness person, a business person, who hasn't been disciplined. You can tell us what discipline means to you. Me? Yes. I, no, I'm not, I'm not interviewing you. <laughs> yeah, what has happened here? <laughs> I like teaching. <laughs> I was like, guys, taking over my show. <laughs> you see, you see, uh, it's, it's a word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're the one who may. <laughs> you see, let me tell you one thing. Back in secondary school, around from one, from two, I struggled with the word discipline because okay. I would come across two words, obedience and discipline. Right. And you know that's the time you're trying to discover yourself and you do not, do not know, should I go with discipline or obedience? Mm -hmm. And uh, it took me quite some time trying to digest what does it mean to be obedient and what does it mean to be disciplined? And then I realized those are two different things yeah. and most times opposing each other. Hmm. Yeah. And I had to choose the kind of person I am. I had to choose discipline. So uh, discipline in this case. Why is that distinct from obedience? Uh, obedience, in, in my understanding, simply meant you obey the authority. And whatever they tell you, you trust it. You don't question. Check the disciplined forces. They say the disciplined uh, group, the police officers, the soldiers. Uh, you're just given an order. Go shoot those guys uh, demonstrating. You don't okay. question, it's not in your powers. You're just uh, implementing what you're told. But somebody who is uh, disciplined will always make judgment and say what is right and what's wrong. And they choose to do what is right, whether they feel like doing it or not, because okay. it's the right thing to do. All right, you I see? guess I look at discipline also as focus, like you know, drive and con consistent application of what you want to do. So that's another I love the word focus because part of what I'm dealing with in that chapter is how do you discipline your focus? How do you discipline your emotions? How do you discipline in your, uh, your activities, including your finances? Because there is no way you're going to grow or live your dream if you're not disciplined in your finances. Mm -hmm. How do you discipline uh, your, your habits with respect to diet mm. with respect to your health mm -hmm. because you cannot live your dream if you're not healthy okay yes and all sorts of disciplines sure. di dis yeah. so you talk about a personal development regimen yeah. under discipline what does that mean uh, you must have a program for yourself you must have something uh, through which you grow what is personal development should be growing as a person i love asking people uh, let's check from january uh, the beginning of this year uh, I love saying this, that on 31st of uh, December, everyone is excited. They're celebrating. Some people go through the night. 
because they finished a year. The question is, what did they accomplish? You see, and they expect that the new year is going to be great. Yes, we are optimistic in this new year. It doesn't work on hope only or optimism. Mm -hmm. If we do not grow in that uh, period, then results are going to be the same. And so, if you are the same person you were in January first, and then you expect life to change up to today, it can't change. Right. Because things change when we change. So like that, that personal that, development yeah. means we are growing, we are changing, we are becoming more valuable in the marketplace. I like how you've put it that I think, you know, oftentimes at the end of the year, we are celebrating the end of the year mm. as in almost in the sense of running away from it and saying this brand yeah. new year, I can't wait to start afresh. Thank but, you. But really our perspective should be let's celebrate what we've done also in the year. And if you're yeah. feeling like you don't have much to celebrate, then hopefully in the following year, you're now more purpose, more disciplined, more determined mm. some to year actually ago, have something to celebrate at the actually end Actually, some year ago when I went to church on the 31st, I had some old man pray bitterly about how worse the previous year was. I think that was the beginning of 2019. So it was 2018, and 2018 had been real dramatic in Kenya. And there was a lot of cry and, oh, Baba, you know, that, that year was really bad. Thank you, it's over. We hope that the next one is going to be great. 2019, let me tell you, the years are always the same. We are the people who can change. And if we don't change, we are going to repeat the same script. And so if you are crying, you see, today people are talking about corona. And by the way, part of that that element of that dream, I usually help people to understand. Why can't you, why, why, why do you even get that corona and things like that and even uh, get uh, to succumb uh, from it? Because we've not changed. We've got to grow as individuals. We've got to master our emotions, know how we are manning our minds in order to be able to achieve the results that we want. Mm. Discipline is a big deal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next one. So, so far we've covered dream, determination, and discipline. And then you have here disappointment. Mm. Hmm. I like this. And part of what you have here is understanding that it is a way of, or you call it a way of life mm. and the importance of having shock absorbers. I see here, you say your source of fuel, also asking for help um, and disappoint the disappointments. Very interesting. Mm. Tell me a bit about this chapter. Uh, 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 this is the chapter where we learn how to disappoint the disappointment. We learn how to uh, uh, make use of what we just learned in the previous chapter mm -hmm. called discipline mm -hmm. to disappoint the disappointment using our discipline. Okay. Because let me tell you, you will be disappointed many times. In fact, by the people whom you expect, you know, uh, uh, that takes me back to the the participant who asked that there are people, he, he or she is lacking opportunity, people not seeing and you are saying they need to display it. Now one thing I've learned in life, the people you expect to help you will never, okay, let me not use never, but let me use hardly, but I love the word never because I've experienced it. Mm. You'll say, oh, my big uncle is there, he's got this much money, whatever. The other day I had some people who organized big wedding and committed lots of money, I don't know, two, three millions, and they called friends and big people hey, with big banks, big and they expected that it's going to all pay off. Yeah. And these people came with cards. Now, not money. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so Let's people there. will disappoint you, all of them, family yeah. members, friends, whatever, people will disappoint you because your dream is not their dream. Yeah. And they don't have to understand it, by the way. And it's not that they want to, Sometimes it's just because that's the way life is and yeah. sometimes it's because that's, uh, th th that's what they think is good for you. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, so you want to be a musician, for example, and you feel it in your heart and you feel that is your calling, but your parents will tell you, what the heck do you mean by music? Go do engineering. And you feel like, well, uh, but this is my passion. What do you mean by passion? <laughs> Go do. And by the end of the day, you're disappointed in your engineering and everything else. And you are waiting to uh, get somebody to tell you, start writing music. No, just start wherever you are in, mu in engineering. The reason I'm doing the symphony orchestra, which is musical, and its leadership, is because I understand music. So people will disappoint you. How do you handle that disappointment? Okay. How do you handle failure? Okay. How do you 
uh, solve your own uh, uh, disappointments. All right. Well, I have just a couple minutes left, so I need to breeze through these next three. Yeah. But you have detour, <laughs> and yeah. you talk about the give principle very quickly. Detour. Yeah, yeah. Give principle. I won't talk about. It's it's a little more elaborate. Okay. And it's a, a somewhat giving. It's one of the tools that I give for you to be able to focus. Okay. Now detour simply means uh, what it means. You detour. This is the goal. But some short excitements will come in along the way, mm -hmm. and you're likely to lose focus of where you are going. Mm -hmm. And you also need to know about that and learn how to. Uh, deal with it okay. because that is the time people will uh, uh, you'll get some other promotion you'll get some other thing maybe you are planning this particular uh, uh, venture but then s uh, maybe you'll you, you'll be given another job okay you see? so be and flexible yeah, not be flexible be what yes know about the detour remember it's not your dream uh-huh you're focused on your dream you want right. to live your dream yeah yeah and part of the tests that are going to come your way are small excitements that are temporal. Okay. And by the end of the day, you lose focus on wherever you are going. So you're saying, okay. Yes, you must, you must learn that detours are there. You must deal with them. And where need be, if you need to change a route, as long as you don't change your goal. Right. Yes. That's what I mean. So be yes. flexible in adjusting yes. how you get there. You study the situation. You there, yes. You but see. you're still yes. focused on the yeah. goal. Absolutely. Okay. Finally, we have detox and dream again. Yeah, detox has to do with uh, uh, also a, a lot of things you need to do for yourself. You're detoxifying. You're taking, uh, you're getting out the toxins in your, in your body, in your relationship, mm -hmm. in your uh, general life. Because, uh, you know, by the, this book has a lot to do with emotions. And, you know, you will not achieve much if you have a lot of baggage. Yeah. People taking you here and there, all sorts of unhealthy uh, relationships and things like that. So it has a lot to do with how do you get rid of that detox, uh, the, the, of those elements that are not uh, contributing towards where you're going. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And then the final one was to dream again. So yes. we started off with the dream. Yes. And at the end of it, you dream again. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Because uh, you can't stop. If you stop, then you finish your work on, on earth and uh, ideally you should die. Yeah. Yeah. So most most people who've finished and they say, I've reached, uh, I've achieved everything I wanted to do, most times they die shortly. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so for you to keep living, and that's why we started by talking about your mission in life. Okay. Now, uh, there is an element of success there where I define success. I pick from two people. One is uh, uh, somebody called Ron Nettingel or Al Nettingel, and he says, progressive realization of a predetermined worthy ideal. Okay. And, uh, and uh, the other one is knowing your purpose in life, and that's why we were trying to learn about purpose, how do you identify your purpose, mm -hmm. then growing to your marks. Now, suppose you are a teacher, and you could teach a uh, thousand people, and then you reach two, uh, 200 people, then it means you've failed. So you okay. must keep growing, 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 and expanding your territory. Part of where I'm talking about goals, I talk about expandability. Okay. Yeah. So and I, I, I see here you have a background, a Bachelor of Science in Physics. So I know you can go on and on and on, just kind of helping us to really find these linkages and explanations to things. But I really want to thank you for coming. I think this has been a great discussion on understanding these seven Ds. Uh, this is quite a book, guys. I mean, he's really spent time writing this. It is about almost 200 pages of really great content for you guys. How can they find this book? Uh, this book... Uh, by the way, to be honest, this is perhaps, in my view, I say, even if I had nothing else and I left it for my children, okay. this is enough to take them wherever they want to go. Wow, that's It's a great. good book. It's simple in that's the great. simplest language. Yeah. It's available currently on Amazon and okay. Kindle. Okay. Yeah. E-copies are on Kindle. Okay. Just about 300 bob. Okay. If they can download on uh, their tablets or yeah. whatever, okay. they'll be able to read it. On Amazon, it's around $13. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming on to the show and sharing these seven Ds with us. Hopefully, we've challenged enough people to be able to live out their dreams and to keep dreaming. So, Asante Sana. And your social media, can people reach you there? Yes, yes. Uh, Otieno Paul Peter.
everywhere okay. you look for or if you google i have a website called tino paul peter okay uh, it has all my contacts asante sana uh, whether instagram facebook whatever linkedin or tino paul peter all right that is. thank you very much for coming we do appreciate your time and with that said i do need to take a break now very quickly and uh, coming up next we're going to be talking about the importance of owning a house in the app